improved by 20% overall for all random markets. But we have seen increase in some markets and decrease in other markets. So three markets have increased their take up. Uh, these are City, City Core, City Fringe, and uh, we have seen also an increase, a vast improvement in Docklands, whereas other three markets, uh, Midtown, West End and South Bank, has even decreased. But we've got an explanation for this West End and Midtown, which are the prime markets, basically. Um, one of the explanations is that we have a lot of space under offer, so the potential deals there are in the pipeline waiting to complete, so uh, hopefully they will complete next quarter. But the, on the take-up basis, there's definitely improvement on that uh, level, on that indicator. Um, but other things that we can consider is the asking rents. They've started to stabilise or they are dropping for second-hand grey space, but very slightly compared to uh, previous quarters when they were falling ferociously. And also we see um, improvement in uh, some markets on the new built asking rents. So City Core and West End. Um, West City Core has seen improvements of £1. West End has stabilised, but we've seen a jump in Q4, so they're stabilised on £75 per square foot. And City Core, um, um, has st the rent is remaining at £44 per square foot. And the top agents in Q1 2010 were CBRE on the first place and JLL on the second place. However, there were several other agents that have done very well in this quarter and you can read the rest of the table on egi.co.uk.